Soweto Cup and welcome to Phuket News TV for Phuket Extra. It's Christmas Day and we're sitting under the biggest Christmas tree in Phuket here at Central Festival. I've got uh, Kun Nun here and Kun Jai. Kun Jai is a taxi driver. How much taxi to Patong? Uh, 500 baht. 500? Yep. 300? Mm, in the company. In it's the Christmas. <laughs> big in uh, big in in the traffic uh, yeah. traffic jam on the way, right? A lot of traffic. Yep. Okay. Merry Christmas to you, and to you. Yep. Time okay. to put on my Christmas hat, and uh, here is today's local and national news. More than 70 people were slapped with traffic violation fines when they were stopped at a police checkpoint on the outskirts of Phuket town yesterday, as part of the Christmas New Year crackdown on traffic. Phuket police say the Christmas Eve purge was to promote road safety and reduce the number of accidents during the holiday season. There will be more police out on the roads around Phuket today. A foreign affairs operation centre is now open at the Region 8 police station as the island prepares for the ASEAN Economic Community starting in January. The centre will mostly focus on coordinating with other AEC law enforcement agencies to tackle transnational crime, provide tourist services and assist alien workers. The Region 8 Police Commander says they'll also be following up on the government's big issues like border disputes, illegal immigration and national security. The Thai Embassy in Yangon is warning Thai nationals to take extra care while travelling to Myanmar after more than 30 people protested outside the mission following a court decision to give a death sentence to two Myanmar migrants in the Kotao double murder case. The embassy said Myanmar's social media users planned another protest outside the Thai Embassy today. Well next some national news, this is Phuket Extra on Christmas Day. PIMEX 2016 is on the way. Following a record-breaking 12th Phuket International Boat Show, Royal Phuket Marina will once again host this magnificent event. Running from January 7th to the 10th, featuring over 50 luxury yachts in the water and many lifestyle brands exhibiting in the main hall. It's free to attend and sure to impress. PIMEX 2016, presented by Thailand Elite, from January 7th to the 10th at the Royal Phuket Marina. Go to PhuketBoatShow.com. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. You've probably guessed it's Christmas Day. Hope Santa is making a trip to you sometime and uh, maybe leave something nice for you. To today's other stories. Bangkok and Phuket cops are stepping up security measures during New Year celebrations. The police are saying they are giving special attention to venues for Christmas and New Year's Eve parties to keep them free of weapons and other illicit items. Authorities are also urging the public to not make prank calls to emergency hotlines. The National Institute for Emergency Medicine says they receive up to 300 prank calls every day. Academics are slamming the military's iron grip on cyberspace following the 2014 coup, according to an article in today's Bangkok Post. They say surveillance and crackdown measures are creating a climate of fear and self-censorship. The article claims since last year's coup, the army has taken many steps to tackle content deemed sensitive or critical of the junta or the monarchy. The increased use of internet and social networks is also creating a new obstacle for the army as it attempts to control content in cyberspace. And Christmas in Phuket will be much the same as any other day on the island with all normal services operating. It's not a public holiday in Thailand. There might be a few extra Farang having the day off though, but otherwise it's business as usual in the Buddhist Kingdom. Well, from all of us here at Phuket News TV and Class Act Media, we'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and wish you well if you're celebrating. If uh, Christmas isn't your thing, we do hope that you have a wonderful day and weekend anyway. Please don't drink and drive, it's just not worth the risk. Phuket Extra will be back on Monday. Thanks for watching. Thank you.